Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we're out at the Amelia on Amelia Island, the Amelia Concord. And I'm with Alan. Alan, what's your last name? Uh, Boudiette. Boudiette, and he has a great 50s classic car. What year make and model is this one? It's a 56 Crown Vic glass top yeah. with factory year. And how many options on this one? It's 34 factory <laughs> options. 34. So this one is probably the most optioned Crown Vic in the world. Crown Vic yeah. in the world. Come on, right alongside me. Let's take a look at it from the side. Come right here. So now, Alan, there's an interesting story with you regarding, step back just a bit more because the car is pretty large here. You have how many Crown Vicks? Uh, I have three left. Three but I've left. I've collected them all my life. And collected them all your life because why? I had one when I was a kid. That was it. That's the reason. Come on up with me. So the interesting thing with this car is not only you have the chrome down here, we're going to show you some of the features. We have the lights here, but this one is the clear glass top. It has a uh, shade. And a shade as well. And all these are options. All these moldings are all options. The rocker moldings, the guards, the skirts. This molding. Yeah. The front and rib. Let's pop, take pop. a look. Go ahead, show me. We love your yep. These bumper guards here. They're, they're very rare. Inexpensive. Got it. One of the pieces of the styling that I loved about the car was you have this chrome piece off the fender that goes all the way down. It's actually stainless steel. Stainless steel yeah. all the way down. Thank you. Yeah. Got it. Let's take a look at the front of the car where we've got the sun hitting it. <laughs> that is great. What's the color on this one? Fiesta red. Fiesta red. Let's take a look at the back. What's the uh, what's the reaction when you're driving these? Uh, you know, it's just uh, it's a reaction from everybody else when you drive down the street, you know. Everybody loves the car, they wave. <laughs> uh, Instant friend maker. The car is not, but it doesn't see the rain. Yeah, no, I get that. Yeah. Right. I'm just going to walk right around it here. Now, this antenna must be an option. Yes. Yeah, rear antenna. Very yeah. neat. And you have a rear window defrogger? Yes, defogger, very, excuse me? Very, very. A left and right defogger and a rear speaker. I don't think I've ever seen that. No, you know, until. Um, I've never seen it either until I get this guy. Is that right? Yeah, and the, uh, the turquoise and white one I own, Yeah. I found them and bought them for like 1500 a piece. Is that right? Yeah. And put them in, yeah. Nice. And obviously this one has the Continental yeah. kit on it. And just because we're at the show and we have some stuff in there, we're not going to open that up. But I love how we've got the exhaust. Or is that just fake exhaust and the exhaust no, is actually no, under no, it? functional. That is functional. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We got a reverse light here. Yeah, back of lights, yeah. And the skirts on this one. Let's uh, let's open up the door and take a look at the inside, shall we? And we actually you could see the dew. There was some rain this morning. Dew on it. Let's take a look at that. The power windows. Power windows. What other things do I need to know in here that were power all accessories? Seat. There's a light in here. Power seat. It tells you when the emergency uh, brake is on, this, the light's up. Okay. And a tissue dispenser. And the tissues that are in there are 1957 Kleenex. Is that right? Yeah. Very cool. The Ford oh, no. it's Crown Vic. There's our sunshade. Usually that would be open. Gail. Look at this. Look at how wonderful this seat is. I'm glad we've got the uh, light on it because you can see there's these sparkles yeah. in the seat. Yeah. Absolutely wonderful. Let's pull you can up see the it. vents up on the dash for the air conditioning. You just spin those. And how many? Down country radio. How many had? Uh, how many had that? Um, air conditioning in that time frame? Probably 20 to 30 in 1956. And wow. Only 600 of these ever made. And of that amount, probably less than 30 were factory here. Really? Yeah. And you have two of them? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go under the hood, shall we? Let's take a look at and what we've got. 292. 292. Two barrel. Four barrel. 
Oh, that looks great. They call that the Y job or something like that? see the bag there? That's the windshield washers. Okay. I do. I do. Got it right here. This is the power brake. The compressor for the air conditioning. Now, the power brake's pretty, probably pretty rare for this show sure. frame, yeah. too. Yeah. And there's power steering. The yeah. Wow. Let me take my time and kind of zone in on some of these badges. Front, stay with me for a second. I'm going to go over here. <laughs> Freon 12 in the system. Here's our air. You might be able to read that for the first time. We'll see if I can get that. There. The Thunderbird. All the little pieces there, all done correctly. Just looks great. Alan, can we fire it up? So we have a, a master cylinder here, and then we have this power braking system here. Yes, that's the power wow. brake. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Show this as well. Let me stand behind it, listen to it idle. Alan, can you step on the brakes for a second? Alan? Thank you. Give it one little rev, would you please? Nice. All right. And that wonderful badge back there that we can't see. Right, let's uh, shut that down, if you would, please. <laughs> Alan, we're uh, drawing a crowd out here, so <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to keep you right here. What a wonderful car. Thank you. Thanks so much for being on my car story. Thanks for sharing it. Thank you.